Raiho Bone Spear. That I know how to pronounce. I know what you're thinking. Fantastic champion. Her outfit is pretty cool. I mean, I think she's literally naked. This looks like body paint, in my opinion. A very subtle kind of like bikini, which is basically just rope. So I'm going to say that overall, she she's topless. Yeah, I kind of like it. But this is not why we really want to see her in action. We want to see this skill right here. Has a stun, but HP burn, decrease defense, weaken, decrease attack, and decrease crit rate for the clan boss is most likely very good. And of course, the A1 with the continuous heals. And this here as well, block debuffs for two turns on a three turn cooldown, removes all debuffs from all allies. And on top of that, you heal them. So let's go take her for a spin. And before we jump in and look at her body, uh, I mean her gear, I will remind you guys that I am streaming tonight on Twitch, so make sure you join the fun. We will be having a gem giveaway, which you can participate by using your free loyalty points to convert them into tickets. Now, two things to understand about today's testing. I was trying to use Raiho Bone Spear on a team for a one-to-one -one ratio counter-attack build. I tried to bring in allies join attack as well because I would get the increased attack buff, mainly because this is a support type champion which has attack-based skills. So in my original team, what I'm really replacing here is a Rosin Scarhide, which is a defense type champion. So the increased defense buff would technically power him up. So I wanted to try and bring at least that the increased attack. Secondly, what I want to point out is that if you put this champion on full auto, she's going to open up with the A3, which is not a bad thing. You're going to basically cleanse every time the stun comes around, but you'll be walking into the first counter attack without your decreased defense and your weaken, which will impact your damage output. Also, risk perhaps wiping early because you're not going to have your decreased attack. So later on in the fight, that might be a problem as well. So what I found to be the easiest way for her to get to work on auto was technically you auto, you manual, sorry, the first two turns. You do A2, then you do A1, then you can hit auto and everything does seem to work out perfectly. Of course, if you put her in the lead though, you don't really need to worry too much about this. You can hit full auto. She's going to self cleanse the stun on herself, but you're still not going to have the perfect setup for let's say decrease defense and weaken. Now let's go check out the run which is almost exactly the team I was using before I managed to get my unkillable. My unkillable is on the live server. I don't have it here on the test server for the time being. I would not get the same rolls of the gear. So anyway, what we're doing here is we're setting up and uh, I will manual for the A2 and then into an A1 so that then the A3 will act as a cleanse. Yes, I also have a Battle Kazar in here as a cleanser, which could technically cleanse it, but I tried to set up this team as if I did not have a Battle Kazar so you guys have a better representation of how you might want to fully use her as not a lead champion, okay? And I brought in Bad Alcazar because all these champions are built for that aura. I need the extra 25% crit rate for me to be close to my 100%, even though there's a Krila. Again, this is not perfect, okay? I was just trying to replicate something I would technically build towards, but I would have to optimize the gear for this to work perfectly. And then we can hit auto as well. So what we have in here is counter attack. We have uh, allies join attack. We have a basically decreased attack from two different champions, but none of them is on the A1. And that is a problem with everything I tested today. I did not put a decreased attack A1 champion because you would think that Raiho Bone Spear here is good enough for that, but it can fall off. You'll see with the masteries as well, you have a chance at extending the decreased attack, but if that falls off, you will wipe. We do have one ally protection as well, which is from the Skull Crusher. So my typical defense-based clan boss team had double ally protection, but no allies join attack. So I was trying to measure if this uh, sort of mix of defense type champions, which is Iron Brago and Skull Crusher, with three attack based champions, which is Raiho, uh, Krila, and Bad Alcazar, would allow me to surpass my previous team. Okay, so that was the big test for me for today on my account. Again, you might want to do a two to one ratio, Batman Forever. You might want to do a four to three ratio with Raiho Bone Spear. 
there is a ton of extra testing you can do but what i'm saying is that this is what i did on my account all right so we're going to fast forward to the end because uh this is going to be quite the long fight and uh, we'll see just how much damage output we managed to get out of this team right here so we're starting to lose some champions Raiho's not the first one to go down. In fact, you will see in a second that basically um, she's one of the last to go down with the gear she has on right now. And I'll tell you this. I'll show you all these champions, but they're basically all in stalwart because I have continuous heals and a a one heal from battle kazar i can afford to do stalwart on pretty much all of these champions it is going to allow you to last a lot longer so we have 41.8 million which is definitely the best score i was able to get today but here are a few more things that i've tried out for you guys along with a few notes okay so here we tried raho bone spear full auto in the lead with skull crusher only counter attack between raho bone spear and xavier that is a whole lot of debuffs that this can easily fill up the bar we also only had decreased attack and decreased attack it can fall off because it's not an a1 decrease attack also three turn increased defense buff which means that if it sticks on raiho bone spear longer and it falls off of skull crusher before it will change the stun target and you are going to fall out of sync because then your counter attack will lose a turn okay so that's another little something to consider on this one right here i, I think i tried yeah double ally protection Iron Brago again, decrease attack, decrease attack, less poison debuffs, but we do have a toxic set on Rearguard Sergeant. I don't think we filled up the bar as much, but I think it can still happen. And decrease attack, even though we had a third champion that can do it, also would fall off if you are not lucky. On this one right here, we replace Xavier with a Cold Brawler, Iron Brago with Martyr, because that's a two turn increased defense buff. Therefore, it wouldn't fall off and change the stun target. So that was a sort of improvement. And here, a Cold Brawler wouldn't necessarily fill up the bar as much with Ryoho Bone Spear and the uh, other champions here. It was still reasonable, but not exactly the best team that I found. This is the one I, I have to use my Battle Kazar because, again, of the way these champions are geared so 41.8 million damage but how does that compare to the original build that i have on the live server basically we're comparing to rosin scarhide right so we we replace rosin scarhide with raiho bone spear we remove the rearguard sergeant and we place krila witch arm and we're basically on par with this team right here so in a sense it's not a huge upgrade for my previous build but certainly you guys might figure out a better way to use raiho bone spear perhaps in a two to one ratio it would be better but now let's quickly go over the gear of these champions which we're going to do very quickly because this is dragging on a little bit so total stats on raiho bone spear in a stalwart set 198 speed faster than the battle kazar only 67 percent crit rate i would need to be at 75 percent with the aura from battle kazar 200 percent crit damage 270 accuracy and then about 3k attack and defense individual pieces here we have attack percent chest crit damage defense defense attack banner i don't have an accuracy banner on the test server defense percent boots and the rest of the pieces all the skills are done masteries we have war master but we do have lasting gifts and master hexer to extend the debuffs but also the continuous heals the next one would be uh let's just do skull crusher in the same order we saw them on the team which is right down here he has not changed since the live server so we have a typical war master counter attack all skills are done he's in life steal the only one 191 speed just above the ultra nightmare 4.7k defense and the rest needs a little bit of work then we can do the um battle kazar yeah let's do him he was in lead actually we have stalwart also has not changed since um the live server he does have speed boots crit damage gloves defense defense resistance for the banner uh that is because of how i use him to solo the dragon which uh could be changed to let's say defense or something but we're sitting on 4k defense which is reasonable 74 percent crit rate 184 percent crit damage all the skills are done as for the masteries kind of similar to uh, our raiho bone spear we do have steadfast so that we prevent the stun target we also have a lasting gifts and master hexer on this one then we're going to do we have a uh, krila witch arm which we have war master lasting gifts on this one as well all the skills are done she's in stalwart uh she's different on the live server though 193 speed 73 percent crit rate 247 percent crit damage a little bit low on the attack at 3.2k and iron brago another fusion champion stalwart we have defense percent chest defense percent boots have an accuracy banner crit damage defense defense percent gloves all the skills are done and then for the masteries 
offense into defense for a typical counter attack build there you have it guys again i'm really eager to see what you guys are going to come up with this champion this was my test for a one-to-one -one ratio counter attack build with allies joint attack let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll catch you guys later